It's that time of year when we're busy buying gifts for our loved ones. Yeah, but if you want to get somebody a pet, think twice about it. Eyewitness News reporter Anya Whitehead has more on the risks of giving away furry friends for the holidays. Whether it's an adorable dog or a cute cat, giving a pet as a gift may sound like a fun idea. But the SPCA of Luzerne County warns it's not ideal. Pets as a gift are generally a bad idea. Um, you're essentially giving somebody a 10 to 15 year commitment, a daily commitment of training, feeding, exercising, playing with, loving, cuddling. Having a pet comes with a lot of responsibilities and not everyone is ready for the commitments. A person and pet also need to be the right match for each other. There are, are a variety of things that should be taken into an account, breed, um, energy levels, allergies within the home, financial commitment, size, energy levels, uh, temperament of the animal. Not only does a pet come with day-to-day -day responsibilities, but bringing in a pet around the holidays can be scary for the animal. We have parties and seasonal things and gift giving and to try to bring a new animal into a home and acclimate them um, in a scary environment, there's new lights, there's family members running around, it's just, it's simply not ideal um, to do that. And if the person is not ready for the new furry friend, it can end up back in the shelter after the holidays. So once the newness of the new animal or the, or the fun part of the new animal has worn off, they unfortunately start to find their ways back into the shelters, be given away on Craigslist. In Plains, Anya Whitehead, Eyewitness News. The SPCA of Luzerne County tells Eyewitness News they will not adopt animals out as gifts. They will ask you to bring the recipient to choose the pet. And you can also support the SPCA by paying for someone's adoption fee or donating food and volunteering.